I am who I'm meant to be. I am who I'm meant to be. Over and out. Over and out. Again. My future needed clarity. So I could see. Hey guys, it's Samantha. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe down below so you can see all of my upcoming videos. Today, I'm going to be comparing cheap versus expensive leggings. So when it comes to leggings, there's such a broad price range of leggings that you can buy. I'm going to go through three price ranges. So I'm going to talk about cheap leggings, medium price leggings, and expensive leggings. And I'll have them all listed right here if you guys want to fast forward and go to like a certain section. And I'm also going to be trying on all these pieces so you guys can see what they look like on. So I got all my leggings like a big pile over here. So I'm just going to be digging through them and showing you guys each of the pieces. Also, I just got a kitty. Do you want to say hi? Do you want to say hi? She's going to be in the background. This is Mango. I don't know. I think she might be a little camera shy. So starting off with cheap leggings, these are going to be your leggings that cost around $10 to $30. You can find these at Walmart, Target, Amazon, lots of options for these. So this first brand is called 90 Degree Reflex. So that has like the little dancer logo on the back and I have two pairs of those. So these first one are just a traditional black pair with like a mesh leg part, which is really cute. And they're really, really comfortable. It's just a spandexy polyester material. They're very breathable and affordable. These ones are also from a 90 degree reflex, so it's a little bit of a different style. They're um, a little bit cropped. It's like a zigzag pattern on there. But both of the 90 degree reflex have has a little pocket in the front that you can keep your cell phone or your keys, which is always nice. Next brand I'm gonna be talking about is Tough Athletics. That has the little flower logo on the back that you might see. This legging brand is very similar to the 90 degree reflex. It has the same like stretchy spandexy material and they fit pretty comfortably. I would say these are a pretty good dupe for Lululemon leggings. This pair is also from Tough Athletics and I actually wear these like kind of a lot. It's a good casual pair. There's a little tie on the inside so you can make sure they don't fall off. So those are the cheap leggings and my personal opinion is don't buy like a bunch of expensive leggings only. Like I really like having these like extra kind of cheaper pairs in the back of my closet because if it's laundry day you have some extra leggings to wear. They definitely don't feel as nice as more expensive leggings but they're honestly pretty good dupes. to the medium price leggings. First I'm going to show this pair from Nike. These are just like the dry fit crop leggings but I really like these. It's a good material so I feel like with Nike with the dry fit they're really good at absorbing sweat so if you're going to do like a really intense workout you don't feel like your sweat is sticking to your body and you don't feel gross the whole time. So I don't have any spandex pairs from Adidas but I do have this cotton pair and this is just the typical leggings that everyone has that has like the three stripes on the side. It has this illusion that makes your legs look like even longer. I I really like this pair for um, even just wearing out um, for like athleisure wear or pairing this if I'm doing like a simple like passive workout. So now I'm going to get on to Gymshark. So there's so much hype about Gymshark and I honestly definitely understand why. So these are the pace running leggings from Gymshark. This is just like the perfect legging for running, like uh, hence the name, pace running leggings. There is a lot of support around the band here and then um, there's a nice trend that goes all the way to the bottom but you still feel like you're able to like stretch and get really bendy but at the same time there is like support around your hips. So if you want to get a medium price leggings I definitely recommend Gymshark because they just have such good quality for such a good price. So um, you don't have to spend a ton and you could still get a bunch of cute leggings and they have like the cutest designs there like really unique designs that you don't really find anywhere else. So now I'm going to get into the expensive leggings and these ones are going to range like anywhere from like $70 to like $150. So definitely a big investment for these leggings, but I will tell you guys if it's worth it or not. So this is the first pair. These are the Lululemon Wonder Unders. These are the full length pants. These ones are $98 and I have just had the simple black pair. So the Wonder Unders is a very thick material. So I feel like this is really good to wear like literally just as a legging pant like out during the day. Like if you wear this and pair it with like sweaters or have it as like athleisure, that is going to be so much nicer. Like, I honestly just don't recommend wearing Wonder Unders to work out in ever. They're just too thick. So I'm going to talk about the Align leggings, which are my absolute favorite type of leggings from Lululemon. So I've heard someone say before, when they wear Aligns, they feel like they're like not wearing any clothes. I was like, that's so weird. But like, I kind of get it. 
when you wear these leggings, it basically just like sticks to your body and like holds everything in, sucks it all together. It makes you feel so secure and like I just feel confident when I wear these leggings. Any like parts of me that I'm insecure about, it's like I wear these leggings and it like goes away. I also have this pair called um, the Train Times Pants in this teal color. And they just look like this. There's like cool detailing on the side, a little bit mesh around the ankles. So I really love the stitching on the back here. I feel like it just like accentuates your body. It makes your waist look like really tiny and I feel like this type of legging looks really good with like crop tops and anything that kind of shows this little pattern. Last pair of leggings I'm going to be talking about is this pair from Aloe. So these are called the Ultimate Leggings. They're $122, which is definitely a spend, but I will tell you guys, you can feel it in the material here, how good of quality it is. Every time I wear these, I always get so many compliments on it. It's very supportive around the waist here. Like this material is a little bit thicker. It almost feels like the Wonder Under material. And then the legs are like super breathable because there's all this mesh. So it's kind of like the perfect mix of like thick material with thin material. I definitely think those leggings are worth the buy if you're trying to find something that's going to last you a long time because I've worn these so much already. I got them probably six months ago and they're still doing really, really well. They'll definitely last me years. So with all these leggings, it's like really overwhelming to choose like a certain brand that works for you. And like for me, like I don't stick to one brand. Like I like to try them all. So um, I really love Lululemon, but just like a tip, like always check the sale section. Like some of these leggings, I told you guys the actual price but it cost me like $25 less because I got it on sale so always check the sales because you can get like super cute leggings just because it was like out of season or something but they're still cute well that's all the leggings I'm gonna be showing you guys today hopefully you found this video helpful and if you have any more questions leave it up below and I'll definitely answer it but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one bye <music>